Hello all, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to get the Miller indices using simple steps. Miller indices are a notation system used in a crystallography to describe the orientation of crystal planes. The steps that are followed to determine the Miller indices of a specific plane includes identification of the plane that we wish to describe using Miller indices. Next we need to determine the intercepts of the plane with the three crystallographic axis. The intercepts are the lengths along each axis at which the plane intercepts them. When a given plane doesn't intercept an axis, the intercept is considered as infinite. Thus, there is a need of next step, taking the reciprocals of the intercepts along each axis. So, in case of infinite intercepts, its reciprocal will be zero. It also implies that no plane passes through the origin. Why? Because if the plane passes through the origin, its intercept will be zero, of which the reciprocal will be infinity. In a case, if any plane is passing through the origin, we can shift the origin to some other nearest lattice point. Let us go to our next step. As we need Miller indices as whole numbers, if required, multiply each of the reciprocal with their least common multiple. Last, enclose this number in parentheses without including commas. Thus, you get the Miller indices. Don't worry, we will learn this with examples. So, let us start.